my name is Jennifer and I'm the Senior Adult Program Specialist here at the High Meadows Branch Library and welcome to our resource web series. Thanks to a grant from the U.S. Institute of Museum and Library Services and the Texas State Library and Archives Commission, I'm happy to welcome Nicole and Martha from Harris County Public Health with an informative presentation about their programs and services. Welcome, Nicole. Welcome, Martha. Thank you. So today we're going to be talking about Harris County Public Health and the programs and services that uh, we Today we're going to be talking about Harris County Public Health and the programs and services that we offer. Um, we have, of course, a mission, a vision, and our values that we're going to share with you briefly. So what is Harris County Public Health? We are uh, the county health department for Harris County that provide a comprehensive a variety of services and programs to our community. We are dedicated to improving the health and well-being of Harris County residents. And in this uh, area where we live, learn, work, workshop, and play. We serve a very diverse community of approximately 2.3 million people, uh, not including the city of Houston, but we do have a couple of programs that also offer services for the entire county, and those are our Mosquito and Vector Control Division and our Ryan White Program. We also respond to various public health concerns and emergencies that go from uh, responding to disasters like hurricanes and disease outbreaks, such as the recent one that we've had with COVID, uh, tuberculosis, and other uh, emerging diseases. Um, our mission is to promote a healthy and safe community, prevent illness and injury, and protect you, our residents. Our vision is healthy people, healthy communities, and a healthy Harris County. And our values include innovation, engagement, and equity. And now uh, we're going to turn it over to Nicole, who's going to talk to us about the programs and services that we offer as well. Great, thank you so much, Martha. I really appreciate that great introduction and overview. And we can go ahead and go to the next slide. So as Martha mentioned, um, we do have COVID um, still at the forefront of services that Harris County Public Health is supporting. So even though we do have low spread at this time, um, we are still offering COVID-19 services, and that includes free testing as well as free vaccines and boosters. So there are mobile testing locations throughout the county. Um, with both of these, neither insurance or citizenship status or documentation are required. Uh, there are separate numbers to call to make those appointments for testing or for the vaccines and boosters. For the vaccines and boosters, we are offering um, vaccines from all three of the major manufacturers, Pfizer, Moderna, and Johnson & Johnson, and all of the doses are available, whether you have uh, received your initial primary series of vaccine, vaccines or not, um, we offer the primary series as well as the additional doses and boosters. Um, and again, there's websites available and these phone numbers where you can make appointments or get more information on either of those services. Next slide. For COVID-19 COVID outreach and education to help ensure that our residents uh, throughout the county are getting current and accurate COVID information, Harris County Public Health staff attend community events. They visit businesses, apartments, and other large organizations to help inform and educate the community on COVID information and resources. They also provide virtual or in-person presentations. So you can contact us by phone or through this email to request more information or to request a speaker to come to your location. Next slide. So as you can see, because Harris County Public Health has so many different programs, we know it can be overwhelming. That's why we offer Harris County Public Health Connect, resource navigation assistance. Through this program, trained staff can help connect the eligible Harris County residents to apply for benefit programs such as SNAP, which provides food benefits, as well as our cash assistance program, um, the healthcare services through Medicaid, Medicare, CHIP, Harris Health Financial Assistance Program, 
and also special programs for women, including the Healthy Texas Women Program and WIC, or the Women, Infants, and Children Program. So you can call to get more information or, again, uh, email to get more information on Harris County uh, Public Health Connect, which, again, will help, help you navigate all these services and get connected with those benefits. Next slide. Harris County Public Health also offers a number of different um, health and wellness clinics that are either low cost or free. And again, no insurance or sat, um, citizenship documentation is required for these. They offer a broad range of services from family planning and reproductive health care services, uh, annual wellness in, exams and screenings, including blood pressure, diabetes and cholesterol and others. Also, women's uh, well women's exam and services, including pap smear screenings, cervical and breast cancer screening and birth control and contraception services, as well as uh, vaccines for children and adults. The, there are two separate locations, one in Humble and uh, Pasadena. Both of those are open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, and you can call 832-927-7350 to make an appointment for either of those clinics. Next slide. Harris County Public Health also offers low-cost dental clinics. Um, there are two different locations for that, and there's a little bit more um, specific eligibility requirements, but they do provide low-cost services for uh, children from six months to 21 years old, as well as children with Medicaid or CHIP. They also offer prenatal dental services for expectant mothers. And again, no insurance or citizenship document is required. Uh, the services include preventative dental exams, x-rays, and cleanings, as well as some routine care, including fillings, extractions, sealants, and other specialized treatments. So again, two, um, my apologies, three different clinics. We have one in Humble, Pasadena, and Baytown, as well as mobile services to four different locations. Next slide. And now I will turn it over to Martha to talk about the WIC program. And now we're gonna talk about our WIC program, which stands for Women, Infants, and Children. Um, so it does serve pregnant and breastfeeding women who recently had a baby or, uh, or had that have an infant or a child up to the age of five years old. There are certain uh, income guidelines that uh, residents need to meet. And however, no insurance or citizenship status is required. And we do offer nutrition education, breastfeeding promotion and support, healthy foods and referrals to health and social services. We do have 10 clinics throughout Harris County, and you can contact uh, these services by calling 713-407-5800 to apply uh, for WIC or make an appointment. And we also have a line for uh, breastfeeding support, and you can also visit texaswic.org because this is a state program. Another service uh, that, it, that Harris County Public Health offers is uh, free HIV, which uh, it's HIV services and STI, which is sexually transmitted infections, uh, and mobile testing. Uh, testing 123 is a wonderful program that uh, goes wherever uh, they're needed. Uh, and people, can, that means that you can get tested for HIV by sending a text message which is free and confidential. And somebody from our staff is going to go to your location. It can be work or it can be uh, your home. And they will able to test you at home uh, for these services. And um, it's, uh, it's completely confidential. So that way people can be, uh, can, can be more confident that um, they can, they can be tested uh, at their, at their convenience uh, in, in their location that they choose. They also offer uh, prep prescriptions and you can uh, call to schedule an, an appointment for STI services at 713-368-8123. The testing uh, that goes to your home offers uh, HIV testing and also syphilis testing at home. For the other STI ones, you can go to the Antoine Clinic to, uh, or uh, call to schedule an appointment for that. 
Um, we also have something called Harris County Pets, which is our animal shelter. And this is an animal shelter that year to year gets tons of uh, unwanted pets. And these are dogs and, and cats. These are animals that are either surrendered by their owners or that are picked up uh, because they're stray animals by our animal control officers. When you come to um, one, our, our shelter, uh, you can find a wide variety of, of animals that need a loving home. And when you adopt an animal, they are microchipped. They uh, have already been uh, received their, all their, their shots or their vaccines. And we offer very low cost. Uh, uh, they're offered for a very low cost and sometimes they're free. In addition to that, um, Harris County Pets also has a wellness clinic that offers uh, veterinary services to, to, to dogs and cats. And these services are offered by appointment only. So uh, they are located on 612 Canino Road in Houston. And you can, they're open, the, the wellness clinic is open Monday through Friday from eight to five. And we also have pet adoptions every day from Monday through Friday from, from 1 to 5.30 and Saturday and Sunday from 11 to 3.30. And uh, if you need to schedule an appointment, you can call 281-999-3191 uh, so you can schedule a, uh, a wellness uh, clinic appointment for your pet. Or uh, you can also visit... Uh, HarrisCountyPets.com to, uh, I'm sorry, CountyPets.com to uh, to see the other additional services that they offer, or to look at pictures of animals that come to our shelter, so you can adopt one because they all need, need a loving home. Um, another division that Harris County Public Health has is is called Environmental Public Health. And what Environmental Public Health does is uh, they're um, mainly known for uh, food inspections and permits. That means that they go to food establishments and they do all the inspections to make sure that all Harris County residents um, have uh, are able to, to eat healthy and because they do inspect that uh, all the, uh, the food is, is stored at the proper temperature and that they're uh, following the state guidelines to ensure uh, that all food is safe to eat, the food is, that is being sold to, to residents. They do have, all, they all do offer uh, food handler and food manager certifications and, uh, and also uh, uh, issue permits for food uh, events. Um, they have another program called neighbor, Neighborhood Nuisance Abatement. And this program um, is in charge of uh, basically demolishing any unsafe uh, buildings um, that mean that they're, they're either have been uh, damaged or abandoned or they, they have been burned and they're not safe uh, because they can harbor... Um, uh, pests like rodents or mosquitoes, and uh, they also uh, uh, do water safety, which means that they they make sure that um, the wells that there's a lot of wells in ac across uh, Harris County that they are they test to ensure that their uh, their water is safe to, to drink or to use. And another service that they offer is that they do testing and removal of lead-based paint from homes that were built prior to 1978 because lead is a uh, something that especially can be very harmful to children and they do um, testing for for children and they test homes to ensure that homes are safe free uh, from potential from the potential risk that can very can be very serious and can harm uh, children especially it, it harms everybody but especially children are at risk uh, you can call to get more information uh, about these services at 713-274-6300. Uh, they are open from Monday through Friday from 8 to 5 p.m. 
Um, Harris County Public Health also has a tuberculosis program, tuberculosis elimination program. And what this program does is that they do, uh, uh, they do TB testing, or uh, that stands for tuberculosis, and they offer treatment and medication if uh, TB is detected. Um, they do uh, provide um, a, a case manager uh, to all of those have, that have been uh, diagnosed with tuberculosis, and they make sure that people follow their medication. Even though uh, TB had been uh, known years ago to be had been eradicated from the U.S., uh, we know that is that it has its it's found its way back, and unfortunately, it's, it has affected many residents. And this can be a tuberculosis is a contagious disease that can be transmitted by close contact to other people. So we want to make sure that our community is safe. Um, by treating those people with TB to ensure that um, that it doesn't keep on spreading to others. And of course, that uh, the people who, who get it can uh, be treated uh, and get healthy again. We do have uh, a couple of uh, locations where they do uh, these, uh, these tests and you can um, find out more about these services and, or schedule an appointment by calling 832 927-7594. Um, and also we're gonna now talk about uh, our mosquito and vector control division. Uh, this is a very comprehensive uh, program that uh, does uh, testing and treatment for mosquitoes. Um, so it um, might seem like it's it's not much, but this is actually one of the biggest programs that our department has. Um, it offers um, what what they do is that they uh, place uh, traps throughout the city and and county because this is one of the those only pro few programs that uh, does uh, testing both inside and outside um, the city of Houston and throughout Harris County. Um, what they do is that they place uh, traps to catch mosquitoes uh, throughout uh, the entire area. Uh, uh, it's over 250 traps. And they, uh, they collect mosquitoes and then they bring them to uh, their laboratory to get tested. And they get tested for various diseases such as West Nile virus, St. Louis encephalitis, chikungunya, dengue and zika and they once they these mosquitoes are tested we, they can determine if they are infected um, the most uh, common uh, mosquito-borne illness that is found in our area is west Nile virus so if a mosquito or uh, not a mosquito a sample uh, that consists of many mosquitoes up to 50 mosquitoes is found to be positive for one of these uh, diseases then, um, then uh, the um, the, uh, the the inspectors send out uh, trucks to spray that area to ensure that uh, that they um, those those infected mosquitoes are killed. Uh, so it, so it can prevent that that prevents uh, that those mosquitoes can can um, bite people and infect them. And so uh, we, unfortunately, we do not spray just for nuisance mosquitoes, but we, own, we spray wherever uh, illness is found. And if, again, you know, the one that is most common in our area is West Nile virus. So they uh, spray, if, if once the, that is detected, they spray that area and surrounding areas. Um, they also uh, test uh, birds because uh, West Nile virus, which is the most common one, is a disease that is, that is um, it's a bird disease. And what happens is that once mosquitoes bite those birds, then those mosquitoes become infected. And if they bite humans, then they can transmit the disease even though um, only a small percentage of uh, residents can develop um, uh, symptoms, 
uh, there's a certain vulnerable, it can infect anybody and it can make anybody sick, but there's uh, some people that are older, um, over 50 years older, or that ha are immunocompromised, it can be life-threatening to them. So that is why we want to make sure that we protect uh, the our residents by um, uh, doing surveillance for mosquito-borne illnesses and that we do targeted treatment to those areas. So um, if there's any concerns or you want to find out more information about the program, you can call 713-440-4800 for additional information. Oops. And now I am going to uh, turn it over uh, to Nicole, who is going to talk to you about additional programs that we have. Thank you, Martha. Um, unfortunately, violence is a significant public health issue. So with that in mind, Harris County Public Health actually has a very um, active violence prevention services team. Harris County is um, committed to addressing the root causes of violence. So with that in mind, they kicked off two of the first two pilot programs. These are currently being focused in Cypress Station as well as Greater Old Spanish Trail, South Union, South Park, and Sunnyside neighborhoods. These programs focus on reducing gun violence, as well as dispatching health-based first responders for 911 calls arising from non-emergency medical, behavioral health, and social welfare programs. The Community Health and Violence Prevention Services also work in partnership with other local agencies and community-based partners for a coordinated and more holistic approach to improve community health and welfare and reduce violence. If you're interested in more information about those programs, again, you can call uh, Harris County Public Health at 713-274-4877 or email violencepreventioon at phs.hctx.net. Next slide. I'm Next slide, please. Thank you. We also wanted to mention one of our newer programs in development. This is called ACCESS, and this is a new program that aims to help improve the lives of residents in high need through an integrated care coordination system. And this utilizes workers from a variety of local and state agencies and community-based organizations. And this, again, is to provide support for those who are in high need. And more information will be coming on, on that in the months ahead as we um, roll out this new program for Harris County public residents, uh, public county residents. Next slide, please. We wanted to wrap up by just sharing with you that you can follow Harris County Public Health on social media. Um, of course, our website has a lot of the information that we covered, as well as um, new content and updates all the time. So we definitely encourage you um, to visit the website and to get more information about the programs that we've discussed here. We're also on a lot of the different and popular social media platforms. So you can uh, connect with us on Facebook at Harris County Public Health as well as on Twitter and Instagram, and Harris County Public Health is even on TikTok. So if you're on any of those platforms, we encourage you to connect with us there. Um, all the handles are right here, as well as the QR code so that you can connect with us. We are regularly updating all of our social media platforms. We actually use those very actively to get out information about different campaigns and programs. We send out a lot of different resources um, and tips and content, as well as updates, especially if there's a breaking news or a public health issue. Uh, so definitely, if that's where you get a lot of your information and news, please connect with us there. And with that, I think we'll wrap it up and turn it back to you, Jennifer. Thank you. Um, I'd like to take the time to thank Nicole and Martha from Harris County Public Health for that wonderful presentation. You guys offer so many great services and programs, and I know this can really help our community. I also encourage everyone to follow them on social media. Uh, a lot of your campaigns are really relevant. Um, some of them are really funny, but they provide really good information. So definitely give them a follow and contact them if you need any help.
Um, this wraps up this uh, presentation for Harris County Public Health, and we'll see you next time. Bye.